how to use Calendly Calendly tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Calendly and how you can use this incredible app to schedule your daily routine, set around your tasks, and make your life work easier, okay? And we're gonna be talking about it in great depth and detail, so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end so you can get the full gist and detail of how you're gonna use this amazing app. So, to start things off, what we are going to want to do is firstly, we're going to go over to Calendly.com and over here, obviously, as you can see, I've signed in with my account, but you can sign in with your own account. You can go into products. You can see all the products that it provides you before going into the whole account thing. Uh, here are the plans for Calendly and uh, you can see pick the perfect plan for your team. There's free, which is always free, obviously. Standard plan, which is $10 per seat per month. There's the team plan, which is $16 per seat per month. And then there's the enterprise plan, which is obviously the custom plan that you can add for yourself, however you want it to be. It has different core features as well, and it works like an absolute charm. So I'm going to go overhead to my account. And once we go over to your account, obviously the setup and the sign up process is really easy. So you're going to be good with that. It's not going to give you an issue or anything. So. Once you set it up and signed everything up, uh, it's going to bring you here. And once you are over here, you have different uh, appointments and all. So first of all, in Calendly, you have event types. Okay. And uh, you can create different event types over here. And then there's scheduled events where you can schedule different events for yourself. There's workflows where you can save time with different workflows, which is basically automations. And then there's routing. Okay, routing or routing, however you want to call it, which is qualify and schedule meetings instantly for yourself using different applications or integrations. Okay, so right now let's come to event types. Okay, and uh, let's create a new event type. Okay, and let's go into the detail of what we're going to do with that. So there's four different event types one on one, which is obviously one host with one invitee. So it's good for coffee chats or one on one interviews or, you know, just one on one normal chat. Then there's group when a host with group of invitees. So it's good for different webinars, online classes, etc. And obviously it's a group of people. So pretty incredible stuff. Then there's collective. Collective is more than one host with one invitee. So it's basically like a panel of, uh, you know, employees and they're trying to sell a pitch to their boss. So that's collective. So it's a group sales call or something like that. And then there's round robin. So, you know, one rotating host with one invitee. So that's basically what you can do. Right now I'm gonna go with group. So let's say I'm one person and I wanna present to all the people. Now, obviously to go with the upper groups, you are gonna wanna go with the higher upper plans. For now, it only allows us to make one on one. So let's go with this, you know, event name. I'm going to call this coffee chat. OK, I'm just going to call it coffee chat. Once you call it coffee chat, there's location and in location. Obviously, there's different things that you can go with. Uh, I'm going to go with a Google Meet, let's say. So if you choose things like Google Meet, it says you must configure your calendar locations to push events to a Google Calendar to host Google Meet to your web conference. So obviously you can go ahead and do that as well, but as that loads up, yeah, here we are. So uh, just go ahead and connect your Google Calendar to your Google Suite. I'm gonna go with my Gmail account. And once you've gone with your certain Gmail account, click on allow. And once we click on allow, I'm just gonna wait for things to load up. And once everything loads up, it's gonna be pretty uh, easy and pretty uh, normal scaling from there on out. So once you're over here, it says add a calendar account. Okay. And uh, adding a calendar account, it's pretty uh, easy, pretty simple. And the reason you're adding a calendar account is so that they know that none of your events coincide with each other, right? Then you're going to give a description for this coffee chat that uh, in this chat, we're going to be talking about the new upcoming project or the new clients that we're going to land, et cetera, et cetera. So just write a summary about those. You're going to add an event link and everything should be good to go from there. Now, once you have done that, um, let's say right now I'm just going to add an in-person meeting or you can even add a phone call. So I will call my invitee or just going to do that. 
and you can also get an event link for the person. So I'm going to go with a color and I'm going to click on next. And once you click on next, this is the more in-depth demographic detail. So when can people actually book this event? 30 minute or 60 rolling calendar days. So the date range is setting a date range of dates when you can accept meetings. Invitees can actually schedule. There's a 60 calendar days into the future or you can do 60 weekdays, whatever you want. So I'm going to go with 60 calendar days in those invitees can schedule. Uh, within a date range uh, of like this to this, okay? Just between this, nothing nothing before, nothing after. Then, you know, the duration of the meeting. Obviously, I'm going to go with 60 minutes because it needs to be a long meeting. How do you want to offer your availability for this type of event? Obviously, that totally depends on whatever type of uh, meeting or scheduled event you want to go with. And once you do that, then you have additional options as well. So first of all, there's invitee questions where you can ask the invitee's name, email, phone number, etc. And then there's workflows where you can set up automations uh, around your events, such as emails and text notifications. Like let's say uh, you can set up an automation. If someone opts for your event, you can send them an automated email saying thank you or you know, an automated email saying, you know, I appreciated that you joined the call. I appreciated that you joined the meeting, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, just basic, uh, you could say housing stuff like that, that just creates a good idea of, or a good sense of work or a good sense of, uh, you could say, um, good professional environment. So, yeah. Uh, then you can also collect payments from the person if, you know, if it's necessary. So yeah, that's how you're going to create event types for yourself. Now, if you go back here, obviously, you're going to see that there's two events that are saved. One is going to be an appointment. The other is going to be the coffee chat that I set up. So these are two events. Now, obviously, once you create an event, it's alternatively turned off, you are going to have to turn it on. Okay. Now, once you turn it on, basically, both these events are going to be active and you can start sending these out to people, which is pretty incredible. Then moving on, you can also create different things. So obviously, this you can create an event type that I just did. You can create a one-off meeting for yourself. So you can invite someone to pick a time to meet with you. And then there's meeting pool where you can schedule a group meeting after offering times for a vote for yourself. So yeah. Basically, that's about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know now in the comments below and I will be making many more of these for you. But yeah, that's basically about it. If you enjoyed this video, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see all of you incredible people next time. Goodbye.